Well, it's Spastastic. Welcome to Spastastic TV. Today we're going to be looking at this HDM68 RF modulator, which I'm using right now. Well, not in my hand right now, but camera-ception kind of thing going on. Anyhow, jump cut. All right, now for a quick little uh, demonstrative purpose to uh, change this thing from uh, NTSC to PAL, you got to hold both the channel buttons. And you see it'll pop up a zero. I just changed it to the EU. So if I set it, I think it'll say EU on it. I don't want it set on EU because, well, I live in America and we use NTSC. Go back in there and change it back to uh, zero. Hit the set button and it says US. So if you wanted to know how to do that in case you wanted to use this device in uh, the UK or France or wherever the hell, um, that's what you'd have to do. However, this thing uh, kind of does an interesting thing. The last one would change to channel 14. This one jumps to 23. and just go through the channels on it. I'll sit there and break the little button. See what channels it goes up to. The last one went up to 123. Um, and uh, another thing is, is that um, it will actually remember the channel that it has even if you unplug it, which I thought was kind of nice because that's the only way to turn it off. Let's see, what channel does it go to? Does it go to 123 then go right back to 1? No, it just continues down. It went to 136. Change it back to 13 because that's where I want it. Or it might be, who knows what the hell it's doing. Because now it's just cycling back to 6, then it goes to 96. Probably ought to read the instructions a little bit more to find out why it's doing that. Might be cable channels. Yeah, it's just going through cable channels now. But that's that. And so I figured you wanted to see a little bit of a demonstration more so than just the intro of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this little Atari Namco Blast thing. Um, or not Namco, I don't think it's Namco. It's just, it's just the Atari Blast thing which is going to require a few more adapters and go ahead and play uh, Dig Dug on a CRT television from an HDMI device. So, jump cut. Fortunately, this is the best picture quality I can get out of the TV um, for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure why. Let's just go ahead and start. Let's see who will actually play the music. So that was a quick little demonstration of this thing doing the thing. Now if I actually stand over here, which you might see a shadow, it makes this TV go fuzzy. Um, the antenna's behind me. I'm just using a little bit of rabbit ears to, uh, well just some cheap rabbit ears. I mean, there's also some cheap rabbit ears on top of the television as well. But anyhow, if you're also curious to see how far away from my house that this thing would broadcast, it didn't really broadcast super far, but I did actually tested in my truck that's parked out on the street so uh jump cut by the way sorry about the different audio i'm, I'm using uh my backup camera if you're wondering how far this thing can broadcast well there's the house in the background my studio is in the basement on the other side of the house it, it'll, it'll kind of do it come on you can do it i believe in you television but if you kind of get a little bit of the pattern of uh A little bit of the pattern that says no signal. Uh, this is the no signal pattern when you're uh, not actually broadcasting anything from that little device. So, just thought I'd point that out. By the way, just a quick little spastastic TV top tip. If you need an antenna for your TV, rabbit ears are usually a good option. These ones are not a good option. These are really cheap, really crappy, really hard to screw in a television. As I found out with that one. So that's Spaz Acid TV top tip. Anyhow, so other than this device obviously works, um, what exactly is the purpose of it? Now, obviously I, I, show, I showed something you could do with it. You could plug in one of those little HDMI games and play it on a CRT television. You could kind of, bro I, I wish I was demonstrated a little bit, a little bit better, but I was able to actually broadcast throughout my house with it, with just a set of rabbit ear antennas 
not the ones that I just mentioned in the background because I couldn't get it to screw into the device, so I screwed it into the television. But what exactly would be the purpose of a device like this other than for some like closed circuit television? If you have a, if you have an idea, let me know down in the comment section. I'd really like to know. Other than it is it is fun to play around with. It does work and. Hopefully I answered all your questions. If not, freaking let me know down in the comments section. I was kind of hoping this video was going to be longer, but oh well. As the freaking furnace turns off in the background that I've just been dancing around trying to record this video, which has actually been kind of a pain in the ass because there's a lot of cables involved. But anyhow, I'm Spastastic. You're watching Spastastic TV, and thank you for watching. Hopefully this video gets more than five views. Who knows? Oh yeah, like and subscribe if you feel like it. Well, thanks for watching.